Lawrence on a play fake. Throws high, but the reliable tight end goes up. Ross did. North Dakota State with six on the line of scrimmage. They rush four. Lawrence rolls right, cut off that direction, settles underneath, catch is made, but a good open fence. Justin Priest, the team's leading receiver in motion. Lawrence looked his way initially, fires down the near side, but did not give Bandy enough. Backer is part of the rush. North Dakota State rushes three. Lawrence whips it out. Dwelly could not get any type of or beat blocks against. San Diego with one first down. They pick up the blitz, swing it out to Dwelly, who makes a second catch. Exceptional. Split backs on second down. Pressure from the side. Lawrence dodges, dumps underneath. It's Blake Martin who makes. And these fans know to get loud on third down. They run a stunt, picked up nicely. Lawrence floats right, settles underneath. It's Bandy with the catch. And this is going to be really close. North Dakota State indicating that the ball popped free. They're pointing as if they have the football. No indication yet from the officials. It happened real late after the contact. Full Carolina. 2013 and 14 teams that have made a return engagement back here to Fargo. Deep drop off the play fake, plenty of time for Lawrence, and he misfires. He shallow crossers and deep overs, okay, and in that particular case, he had him on the deep over route and the protection to throw it uncharacteristically. Here comes a linebacker blitz. It's picked up. Lawrence dumps it underneath. It's the backup tight end, Zach Holland. See what Lawrence has done throughout his career up with some pretty hefty names. He'll take a shot trying to show some accuracy looking for Holland. Threw it into double cut defense this year and he said really quickly I have DeLuca and Tangway back. Two key cogs. Dragging pattern caught by Dwelly. This year for Lawrence. Here comes a double linebacker blitz. It's picked up. Lawrence floats. Incomplete. And here comes a late flat. To give the official an opportunity to make a call that didn't need to be made. So I put that on Grimsley. San Diego onto the Bison side of the field. Deep drop. Nothing open downfield. Pressure comes. And Lawrence gets rid of it in the nick of time. In combination man zone coverages, the Bison throw a lot of the quarterback. In that particular case, he had a long time. Kudos to the pass four down territory. Rush comes up the middle. The pass tall and intercepted. He overshot. Center gaps on that side. Free up the middle. The look, um, Lawrence really doesn't make a. Good job as well by the cover corner, Jalen Allison. He has taken away Justin Priest from this offense until now. Priest makes his first catch. He's a Smith San Diego can make offensively from the 23-yard line. They fake the jet sweep action. Lawrence is going to roll and taking his eyes off the foot. They have been the bullies and the pioneer the past decade. They pull a lineman for pass protection underneath. They'll try number two and Martinez. Here comes the blitz off the edge. Lawrence is sacked back at the 13. Ball or defense for that situation. Out of the eye formation, it's a quick screen pass as they get the ball to Priest, and he'll pick up good yardage. 35 yard line, the two tight ends, Keating and Holland. Flip flop sides, they'll go to the left. They fake a pitch that way, bootleg right. Pursuit coming, and Lawrence wide in the offseason. They've used them both inside and out with that rush. Second down and 10 at the 35. Quick throw to Priest. He'll make the catch, and then try to hurdle a defender. You see the woes on third down today for the Toreros. Slant over the middle, knocked away. They were looking for Holland. Good coverage by Grimsley. Again. Today, the goose egg, 0 for 9. Blitz off the edge. Lawrence lobs and a flag is thrown. Dwelly, coast tight end, who now is excelling 
for the Philadelphia Eagles. Pressure by DeLuca. He lowers the boom, and Lawrence throws a strike. Priest came back to the football. He reacted. He's so good at pitching the shutout. Deepest penetration of the game, though, for the Toreros. They have it at the 16th. Second and 11. Reverse pivot. Lawrence put some loft to it. Incomplete. Looking for dwell. Pressure up the middle, nowhere to go, and he's dumped again. Third victorious, 28-10 earlier today over the Purple Paladins of Furman. Lawrence throws it low, making their first splash into the FCS playoff waters. Third down and 10, bobbled snap, Lawrence gets it back, a timing pattern, nobody home.